Hello everyone. Welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Misty Cassandria. This week we're covering points of interest in reading a palm. And you'll learn how to focus on first impressions of the hands. Whatever you look at, what jumps out first? Is it the size or strength of the lines? How are the fingers, how are the fingers held? Is anything missing? on the hand that you, you would think would be there or you expect would be there? What about the hand shape and size? Are right, there several examples we will be covering? I'll just, we'll take a peek at all of them. We're going to work on this one today. We will have handprints. Some will show fingers, some will not. Okay, and then we'll be focusing again, as we will today, on the single traverse palmer crease, well known as the Simeon line. These are famous people. All right, and then we will just focus on a palm. All right, so we'll have a lot to cover. So I feel this will help you if you're seriously considering doing palm reading yourself. Okay. Okay. We'll look at we're looking at this example here. All right. As it says, what juts out first? What are your eyes pulled into on this hand? And we will be working on this section here. We're going to be checking the flexibility of or stiffness of the thumb. You're going to check the fingers, the length, if there are any gaps. Is there any finger leaning toward or bending away from one side to another side? What can you say about that? That says a lot about the person. Okay, so we're going to follow this is the guide I said. We can't tell by just looking at a photo, but we have a general idea, pretty general idea. Let's notice how these fingers are standing tall, straight up. That exudes confidence from the start. Okay, now we look at the fingers individually. All right, then we think about the length. We want to get the length of the finger. That's very important. So we go always compare the, the index finger with the ring finger and see which one is the taller. Just for information, this is how you see yourself. This is how the public sees you. Okay. Now, if this one is longer than this one, it does stand out. That raises how they see themselves. There's a lot of uh, ego in here, but it's a little ego here too. But we're not concerned about the ego. We're just talking about what happens when one is longer, especially this one. This is, means this person is like the boss, the one in charge, or will go to that position. They tend to jump to it. They feel comfortable there, and they do a pretty good job. So we think of leadership. We think of confidence. We think of high esteem by the person who has this finger. And many times they're thought of that way, unless they get carried right away, and then they'll be criticized and say, they're so bossy, always want to be in control. Well, that's part of their nature. That's the part that makes them who they are, the length of the finger. Now, this stands tall in strength. This, like the, this is like the spine of the hand. So that keeps everything in control. This is how you uh, look up to the rules and regulations of a particular society. And when that stands tall, you, you're right along. You go with the flow. It's okay with you. All right. And they, of course, this is how the public sees you. Okay. So everything looks good. Let's take a look at this finger, the little finger. Now, this is the one for communication of all kinds. Let's see. This is considered short because it has to be as tall as this line that separates 
top flange from middle flange, but it it's shorter. So that means they're not anxious or open to really communicating comfortably. So they tend to hold in. It's a feeling of shyness there. They hold to themselves. They can be a little secretive, all right? Okay, checking if there are any gaps. There's a gap here. There's a gap here. This has to do with your thinking, making up your own mind. Okay, so there's independence here. There's no gap here, so we can go on here. There's independence here, and this has to do with work out in the public, okay? Okay, now let's see what's happening with the thumb. This is a large thumb, and many people with this line have it. Not all of them, because the person without the simian line could have a large thumb. So first, let's focus on the uh, flexibility. You notice there's a curve here. That means flexible. Person is flexible, and is flexible overall. Thinking is flexible, open to fresh ideas. All right, let's look at this part that's larger, where this line that separates the flanges. Here we have the action part, putting ideas into action. Let's see how many ideas. Ah, that doesn't balance because this is not as long. This is shorter. This means the person doesn't come up with much new ideas. He tends to have all this action ready to go with the ideas and there's not much going on, all right? The best thing for the person is to team up with someone that has a larger section here, and maybe they have large here, but you have to team with someone, if you're open to that, who has ideas. The ideas tend to just flow, because you, you have the fortitude and the desire to actively get going with it. It's an active person, and because of the curve, that means flexible, okay? Open to new ideas, flexible, all right? And let's see, we can go on to check the lines. Here is the single traverse, and if you're wondering, where is the headline? Well, it's in here. They've joined together as a team, as one. So we have one line that just runs across the palm. That's why it's simian. So yes, here we have emotions and mental thinking in here, analyzing. So it's a lot going on in here in the mind's eye of this person. And it's sometimes it's a little frustrating and exa it's exhausting because there's so much energy that is spent. That's why they're always advised to relax some. You must relax. Take the time. Okay, we can look here. There's a thin line indicating fate line. Not much going on. Work doesn't start until early 20s. And it stops before, oh, before age 40. It's interesting, but we don't know what's going on here. And here is the branch, or sometimes called the floater. This is the headline here. So even though we have the single traverse, we have more interest, more activity when it comes to mentally thinking and analyzing. Okay, and it's a strong lifeline. It starts off a little disruption in the energy, but the older the person gets, it seems to clear out. Okay, well, that's it that we see. Now, there are other possibles. Looks like this is a faint, faint line here. So there's a big gap. All right, so that's how we're going to be doing it. And uh, you can give me some feedback. 
Your comments are always appreciated. Give a thumbs up if you like this, share and subscribe. That really helps the channel. And welcome to the new subscribers. So happy to have you here with us. Okay, remember, love yourself, love and light. Bye.